Projected red wave didn't fully materialize in last month's midterms. Republicans were encouraged and Democrats concerned by the inroads the GOP made among Latino voters. Let's bring in the founder of Lexit, or Latinos exiting the Democratic Party, Jesse Holguin. Jesse, it's great to have you here. I mean, this is really a, a treat for me. Why is it so important? Because you're going to go into inner cities and you're going to try to recruit kids, but you're also going to bring toys and tamales and treats, as you say, because this is this is the way you spread your message. Amen. And yeah, we do that a lot. We have boots on the ground. So we feed the homeless and we just had a backpack giveaway. We went into like the hood we, in San Bernardino. We went in there and gave out backpacks, haircuts, food, right. all that kind of stuff. And we just had a Thanksgiving event. Where we gave th uh, meals to pe people in the ghetto yeah. and um, for Thanksgiving. And now we're having one at Calvary Chapel, South LA. We're having a Christmas event and we're gonna have pony rides. We're gonna have a train that drives around the kids. That's cool. We're gonna give them tamales, churros, and um, toys. Yeah, we, people don't know your story. You were shot, you were a gang member, you were shot and paralyzed. You say you have a good story. You go in and you tell these people that you have a story and they, they tend to gravitate toward you and therefore gravitate toward the Republican Party. Amen, yes, they could relate. A lot of Latinos, could relate to my story. Like, I've been to the White House. I've been all over, and everywhere I go, Latinos are like, hey, my cousin was from the hood, or my family member was from the barrio, or whatever. Like, people, Latinos relate to my story, and that's what at Lexit, a lot of us are just everyday Latinos. We're just everyday Latinos, and Latinos could relate to us. They like our stories. Mm -hmm. They like the way we talk, the way we represent ourselves. And then because, another thing they like about us, too, is because our faith. Our right. faith is big to us, because most Latinos are either Catholic or Christian. Sure. They have a love for God. So we always represent our love for Christ above all things. So that makes Latinos gravitate towards Jesse, us. Jesse, why are so many Latinos Democrats? They just seem like they, they, they gravitate toward the Democratic Party very early in life. Yes, because we have it in the mindset, not only Latinos, but blacks, we grow up automatically thinking we're Democrats like me. Automatically, when I grew up, my family told me we're Democrats. And I said, why? And they said, because the Republicans are for the rich, why? whites and the minorities are for the Democrats. Um, that's why we grew up. And then too, another big cause is because of the Spanish channel. A lot of people don't know this, but the Spanish channels could be as bad as fake news CNN and all them. So all they're getting is propaganda 24 seven mm -hmm. on those Spanish channels. So that's another big reason why but we're, we're breaking through. We're, we're starting yeah. to reach Latinos and the numbers are changing. Do you feel it? Do you know it? We see the numbers changing. We see them in Texas. We see some Latino yeah. members of Congress. Do you feel that? Because I know in yeah. South Florida, you know, the South Florida, they broke through for, for yeah. uh, Governor DeSantis. What are you feeling? I feel it so much. Because even so many Latinos, even that I used to get in debates with and all that, now they're with Lexit. <laughs> or before, they, they see because the Democrat Party, it's not even the same party as five years ago. They're just so far to the left with all the stuff yeah. they're trying to push on our kids in schools and just all this stuff. Latinos, none of them. We're against that and all that. We're so That's what we tell Latinos. Yeah. Vote your golly voral values. Vote the issues. Yeah. Jesse Holguin, great to have you on. Best of luck to you. Thank you, sir.